welcome to the kitchen. So it's finals week, it's showstopper week. So I thought I'd show you how to make your own showstopper at home. Those of you that saw the ad, we made a lovely showstopper that was brought into the tent at the end. It was a drip cake covered in flowers, really pretty and it's really simple. So we're gonna start off with a crumb coated cake. And if you wanna see how to do that, there's a link, we've done a video for that. Um, so we we'll start off with that. We've got some softened buttercream and just gonna add our final coating. Try and do it as neatly as you can. You can see I'm holding my palette knife at a vertical angle and I'm just pushing backwards and forwards, which is kind of um, coating the cake and also working out any air bubbles that might be in the buttercream. And with a drip cake, if you know, you've got the odd bit that's not kind of perfect, you can just cover it up. Drip cakes are one of the easiest cakes in the world to make, in my opinion. At that so there we go so that's kind of roughly coated um i'm just going to start to neaten it off so i'm just going to take a clean palette knife just go around so i'm keeping it at kind of um a nice flat angle to the cake so that's kind of neat i want to just make it even neater i'm going to use a side scraper top tip i like to run this under a hot tap so it kind of warms up and it's a bit damp and you're going to get a nice neat finish on the side so i'm just going to do that you like my run? Yeah, Mum run. Hold this vertical and try and do one swoop all the way round. So yeah, that's nice and neat. Um, I'm gonna finally just go around the top one more time. I'm gonna add some vermicelli and some freeze-dried raspberries just around the bottom while it's soft. So I've got these here. Take the vermicelli and just kind of press it up against the side just in a rough kind of wobbly line, doesn't need to be neat. And just sort of like push the stuff around the bottom just into the base of the cake. Some freeze dried raspberries. Just gonna pop a few of those around as well. So we went for chocolate and raspberry actually for the showstopper for the ad, because the Bake Off um, has like the classic chocolate and raspberry cake. So we went for those flavors and colors. So there we go, so that's kind of roughly covered. Another element to this, I thought we'd make some chocolate shards. We've just melted some dark chocolate and added a little bit of freeze-dried raspberries and let that set, so I'll just leave that to one side. I've got two other cakes that I've already covered and we're gonna get them stacked and start decorating. There we go. So I'm just gonna lift this on. Try not to drop it. So just make sure you kind of get it as central as you can. And there we go, so just stack it the same way you would a wedding cake, ready to decorate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pipe some drips on and I'm gonna add all loads of different decorative elements. I've got some macarons, some raspberries, some edible flowers and some round kisses. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold leaf. It is a showstopper, I'm gonna make it nice and special. Buttercream, so I'm gonna add some buttercream stars. Thanks, Lola. Um, I've got some melted chocolate. So I'm gonna use this to create my drip effect first, and then add on all of the show-stopping decorations. Oh, I won't forget this, I'm just gonna cut this up as well. You can just pour it all on and use a spoon to let it drip, but if you use a piping bag, you can strategically place your drips and get them at different lengths. Just looks a bit neater. Do sort of like a few sort of small drips, and then a few sort of strategically long ones. I'm just going to fill in the top now with some chocolate because that's obviously going to be seen. And I'll just do the other tiers in the same way. Look at that drippity dripping. But you can see what I mean with the piping bag, it just makes it much easier. So that's ready to go. I'm going to pipe on some buttercream stars just in random places, different colours. So just kind of like pipe against the cake, bosh. Right, what next? Some meringues, meringue kisses. Let's pop him there. A few chocolate shards, just snap them, and just place them around. Put it like that. And some raspberries. And finally, some edible flowers. Oh, not finally, because I'm going to add a little bit of gold leaf as well. There we go. Lovely. 
It's looking pretty show-stopping, I think. I hope you all agree. Last thing I'm gonna do is just add a little final flourish of gold leaf. It's one of my favorite things to use, actually. Use my tweezers, and I think it looks really nice if you just pop them on the meringues. Just pop them. That's lovely, I think it's just, just as perfect. Ta-da! There you have it. Lovely three-tier showstopper. I think that's pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I hope you're inspired to make your own showstopper. Everything you need to make it is just down there, and I'll see you soon. Bye!